Hey YouTube. Well, I just hit um, 101 subscribers, so I thought I should give you all an update on my thyroid situation and the cancer. Um, sorry I'm doing this outside, but I seem to think better and talk better out here. Um, well, here's where we're at. Um, I've had the 200 millicuries of radioactive iodine administered. Um, uh, most of it's gone out of my body. I'm still radioactive. Uh, my cord on my Geiger counter is acting up. I have one ordered. We'll do a count here soon. But it'll be there for about a year. Um, uh, the scar is actually healing up pretty nicely. I, you know, almost wish it showed a little more. I don't know why. Looks like a bad attempt at a Colombian necktie. Um, um, but the cancer has left my throat. Um, they found some right about here in my chest. Um, it's in a lymph gland. It's not in my lungs or anything like that. So that's kind of a good thing. Um, now the big worry is um, there's some stuff showing up in my blood that's really not good. Um, um, maybe there's another cancer. Um, it may be nothing. Um, this is the beautiful part about the whole medical industry. It's either, you know, scare the crap out of you, or we don't know, it's nothing. Um, I, uh, I feel like crap. I still haven't got any energy left. But, um, you know, I'm out. I try to do a little work every day, and I seem to maybe, I don't know, maybe getting a little better, but maybe 1% or 2% better. Um, this is tough stuff. I hope, you know, none of you guys have to go through it, but... My big worry is, man, Fukushima happened a long, long time ago, you know, and the only way you can get this is actually by, I, it's through a nuclear accident. Um, it, 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 iodine is the, it's the only thing your thyroid does, so radioactive iodine got into my thyroid and, you know, caused the cancers, you know. One tumor was four centimeters, one tumor was three centimeters, but it was papillary cancer, so it takes forever forever to grow and show up. I really won't know if I'm clear for maybe another four years to ten years, something like that. So that means full body scans, everything else. Hopefully they don't have to give me any more radiation than like the CAT scans. Uh, I got dosed, man. I was at 1.2.5 million counts a minute. Gamma only. I mean, I, I that was just freaky. You know, I hope none of you ever have to go through this. And speaking of everyone else, um, I don't know how to say it. Thank you. Um, I can't list all the names because there's been so many people. Um, thank you for the prayers, the well wishes, um, just the positive attitude. Um, you know, and I even appreciate some of the people that are kind of being, you know, contrary to the way I'm thinking about nuclear, you know, but I'm trying to be polite and be nice and I want to hear all viewpoints. Um, right now, I'm not real thrilled with the whole thing. Um, now, the nuclear medicine side of it, you know, I'd be kind of hypocritical if I didn't say that was a good thing at this point. You know, I got lucky it's papillary cancer. They can attack it with radiation, but that's literally hair of the dog that bit me. Um, be doing some more videos on the nuclear waste issue. Um, there's some comments have been made that are, uh, um, frankly, they sound like propaganda to me. Uh, the term clean nuclear... I, it's too late. Fukushima already happened. Um, if the, the effects of that are going to take years and years. And think about it. My papillary cancer, I probably got, I got it either from Chernobyl or I did a lot of gardening in western Utah, Canaraville, which is just downrange from the test site. So if one particle, one particle, you know, 20 years earlier had been left upon the earth and I was doing a lot of rototilling. I had like a one acre garden. That's my doctors, several of them, we agreed. That's probably where I got it. Either that or was kicking around looking for minerals out in the Nevada desert or in, in um, western Utah. You know, people live in these places now. What's going to happen to them? What's going to happen to their kids? Let alone what's going on in Japan. So anyway... I just wanted to check in with everybody. I'm okay. My prognosis is good. I have a 65% chance of surviving the next 20 years, which is, you know, not bad, actually. Um, but I am a survivor. I'm a fighter. I'm going to keep doing it. I weigh an exact 130 pounds. Um, I haven't weighed this much since, like, 20 years ago when I kicked methamphetamines. 
Um, when I kicked meth, I was at 118 pounds, so I've actually been thinner than this. Here, full side view. That is one skinny mother right there. But hey, thank you everybody for all the well wishes and support. And hey, don't forget, there's a lot of people out there doing really good work about nuclear stuff and what we're looking at as far as the effects from Fukushima. Pay attention to them. This stuff could save your life someday. Um, it's starting to rain as I speak, and you know, normally I would love to stand out here in the rain, but I ain't doing it right now because we don't know what's in it. Have a good night, guys, and again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys have made all the difference in the world. Um, my, my wife has been putting up with me. I've been really grumpy and all over the board. I hope I haven't been too vicious in some of my responses to negative stuff. I've tried not to be. Um, but this is something that we all need to be aware of, and every single one of us is involved. We are all downwinders now. It, it doesn't matter. So be safe, stay safe, and um, check out Kevin Blanche's channel, if for nothing else, your daily dose of angst. Um, check out Art Rat's channel, Miss Milky the Clown. Um, there's, there, I, uh, check at the bottom of the video, I'll have a whole list. There's so many people that are doing yeoman's duty on this. Um, they deserve a lot more credit, you know. Um, I just appreciate the fact that I hit 100 subscribers, so thank you all. I really appreciate it. Um, my job is in surveillance. I'm not allowed to have friends when we live in a small town, so you're actually my friends and family. You're my go-to people, so thank you. Have a good night.